Well, hello there, how are you doing? Today we're going to read, read some educational materials. So I do hope you enjoy. It's gonna be so... Uh, so educational, it's unbelievable. You and your family must get food poisoning often, if that's what your roasts look like. I've seen better insults come out of Windows error messages. <laughs> People who killed Parthenax say... <laughs> People who killed Parthenax say... <laughs> People who killed Parthenax say... Fapoon! <laughs> it's the <this> freaking... <laughs> Get your, shit, get, your shit to, get your shit together. People who killed Parthenax says Pfoon instead of Spork. <laughs> yeah. William, it's an actual song. So I'm gonna need you to calm your double D cup size man titties and shut your double bubble dum dum pussy plum cow ass devil grass in teal colored peel the banana and savannah steal the rumored pie hole the fickety fuckity fuckity fuck up. Hey, Lindsey Graham, go sit on a radioactive cactus, you louse-infested two-days-worn gaff. I hope your shoes are constantly one half size too small, and your food is always lukewarm, regardless of what temperature it's supposed to be, you pestilent oozing wound of a person. Ouch. Mwah. Happy birthday to the best ex-boyfriend ever. <laughs> Sorry for cheating. La la la, apology not accepted, pancake nips. Why is baked pronounced baked, but naked isn't pronounced naked? Because, as someone said, English is not a language, it's three languages wearing a trench coat, pretending to be one. Pretty bold of you to say that, since you get named after the sound a plunger makes. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Google out. Google out. Google out. Google out. Favorite mild insults. You absolute walnut. Uncultured swine. Aggressive, slightly burnt chicken nugget. S salad. <laughs> it's just so lackluster. It's like, uh, it's like getting into a really heated argument. Like, mm, salad. Mm, you have salad. Yeah. Salty lime. Useless paperclip. <laughs> Butternut boy. <laughs> Dingling. Rude blockheaded crouton. Burnt churro. Panini head. Stewed prune. <laughs> That's like my favorite overall insult. Shut up over there, you stewed prune! Succulent ham snack. One layered lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> I usually proofread this before I record, but I didn't actually. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. I must be blind. You one layered lasagna, egg, dense cabbage, imitation shark fin soup, uneducated potato. And that's usually all the potatoes, ain't it? Girls think a foot fetish is weird, but turn into Niagara Falls over some veins and shit? Tell me who the real weirdo is here, you cardiovascular ho- It must have been a sad day when you slithered out of the abortion bucket. I mean, to be honest, Little Pump makes music for people who look up and down before crossing the street. There's no car up there, no car down there, it's just gone for hoop. If that guy was a number, it would be a f***ing syntax error. Shut your skin tone, chicken bone, Google Chrome, no home, flip phone, disowned ice cream cone, garden gnome, extra chromosome, metronome. Dimmer dome geom full blown monochrome student loan Indiana Jones overgrown filth stone X and Y hormone friend zone Sylvester Stallone Sierra Leone auto zone professionally seen silver patron head ass the fuck up. Your IQ is lower than my self esteem. Doom de doom enjoying some tunes and la -de -da -de. Listen here, you garlic loving frog. I present a formula for creating excellent and strange insults. Adjective plus curse word plus noun. 
No one asked for your opinion, you abominable shit goblin. I fail to understand. Have you become such a reprehensible fuckwaffle? Get out of my way, you sorry excuse for an intolerable ass pastry. I cannot believe such an illiteral twat truck could ever be remotely polite. Maybe if you weren't such a troublesome goddamn elbow, we could get some things done around here. I see no one has reblogged my post. Is it because you underserving fuck llamas are afraid of the truth? A formula for you, soggy c goblins. <laughs> to whoever keeps destroying this toilet, you have a great health insurance. Go see a doctor. And if not a doctor, maybe an exorcist. Go poop in a field with the other buffalo. <laughs> Babe. Princess. Angel. Precious little nugget. Slumbering little bug. If you don't answer me, the pet names are gonna start getting meaner. Bowl of cereal that's been sitting out for like an hour. Ah, oh, man. That's soggy. I don't speak spaghetti, you banana slug. You look like somebody rolled a spoon of mayonnaise in pubic hair. Pedo! I'm not a pedo, but if I was, you'd be safe, you tubby little ginger cunt. It really looks like a tubby little ginger <laughs> fucking oh my god. That's a face not even a mother could love. Well, the worst part is that, you know, genetics and stuff, the mother probably looks exactly the same. r slash ask reddit. What are the signs that you're ugly? When someone says, you look like my friend Jeff, then you look up Jeff on Facebook, and he looks like a boiled pear. <laughs> oh, poor Jeff. My fiancé's dad is Arabic. He has a really thick accent and doesn't really understand cursing. So when he gets road rage, he just puts a bunch of curse words together. My favorite so far. Up, oh, shut your ass, mother bitch. <laughs> Why does it sound fucking Russian? Up, your shut... Up, shut your ass, mother bitch. <laughs> it's like way... It's way better in Russian. <laughs> Up, shut your ass, mother bitch. It's probably because I can't do a good Arabic accent. Just... Vaccinate your fucking vagina, gremlin, you fucking berry dumbass! You look like something I, I would draw with my left hand. <laughs> Never mind her looks. Her mouth alone holds so much shite, her blowjobs are considered anal. That's actually a really good insult. <laughs> Found something new to say when I leave a room. Stay fresh, cheese bags! An accurate description of a car dealer in my town. Stay away from this dumpster fire. <laughs> this starts off nicely. Stay away from this dumpster fire. These cheese dick mouth breeding troglodytes judge you and look before they even speak to you. They chase you down in your car and demand you look at the vehicles they want to sell, as opposed to listening to your ones in a vehicle. The manager was rude, judgmental, and a straight up jackass, and snarled at us when we said we wanted to leave, then insulted us by looking at our current vehicle and asking if that's what we're trading in, then just giving us the cold shoulder when we said yes. The reason we're buying a new car is that our old one sucks, you dumb piece of shit. I don't want to give money to this hungry, impatient, shit weasel filled company. Any stars. But the website dictates I give a minimum of one. So enjoy your freebie on Douche Mountain. Seen on a Cards Against Humanity forum. I don't like that you're getting political. Why don't you just stick to card games? <laughs> Why don't you stick to seeing how many Hot Wheels cars you can fit up your asshole? Well, that's it for this video. I do hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something. This was supposed to be a very educational uh, video, so make sure that your children watch it and you get your grandma to watch it and all that stuff. Every, everybody who, who wants to learn shit can watch it, I guess. Yeah, so click the bell button to be notified when I release a video, because apparently subscribing is not enough anymore for some reason. I figured that was that button is supposed to do but stay tuned for more educational videos and i will see you next time have a good night time or whatever time you live and i will see you in the next video take care hugs kisses and squeezes goodbye